Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a high detailed water bottle inside Cinema 4D. Everything is done inside Cinema 4D so no need for a uh, third party software. So let's get started. First of all, let's uh, go to Cinema 4D port by clicking the middle mouse. Then choose the front port front port yes let's uh, change the settings something go to options configure then go to back let's add a background image yes now let's uh, scale it down a little maybe uh, 10 yes perfect now let's uh, get started from a cylinder and scale down a little let's go back to uh, configure and then let's change the transparency increase the transparency Okay, let's go back to perspective view to uh, click display in uh, shading lines. Now let's uh, change the rotation segments to 12. Then let's remove the caps, we don't need them. Now let's make it editable by clicking C or just uh, click the button. Now rectangle selection. Let's uh, make this cylinder look like a uh, low poly uh, bottle. By dragging, uh, by clicking control and uh, dragging the the object to extrude it no I didn't click control sorry yes let's scale it down a little drag it up scale it down while scale it down don't click control don't hold control let's uh, let's drag it up scale it down enter we got a low poly bottle water bottle yeah, exactly like this exactly perfect it's perfect now let's go back to the bottom to finish the bottle from there. Let's scale it down. Let's uh, drag it down while holding control, of course. Let's uh, scale it down now. Yeah, perfect. Now let's add a cut in the middle. Let's select it. Under this cut, we're gonna need to add another one. Let's add another one here. Select it and scale it up.
Perfect. Now let's add a subdivision surface to, to the object by holding Alt and clicking the subdivision surface. Let's rename it Bottle. Now what we are going to do just uh, make this lines smooth as much as we can just like the bottle in the image in the background Great. Now I'm going to add some geometry, some geometry to this bottle. But uh, first of all, for that, uh, what we are going to do is just uh, Yes, <clears throat> we're gonna add some cuts to this uh, on the image, of course, by following the geometry of the image. But before that, let's select the whole object, right click, then optimize so we don't need an uh, dependent, some dependent polygons let's add a cut here another cut here another cut here but before the before doing this cuts we need to remove the bottle from the subdivision surface surface now let's go back to lines or edges It's not perfect. Let's add some another cut here. So we okay. Now let's start again by adding the lines for the geometry. Nice, perfect. Let's. Uh... Drag that line a little bit up. It's too close from the lines that we want to work with. Sure. Now let's uh, select the three lines. Select points then uh, rectangle selection then drag this points by uh, 0 0.79 0 0.79 go to right view and select the three points again and drag the map by 0 0.7 0 0.78 perfect Now let's go back to lines. Let's. Uh, I'm going to do now. Right click and uh, bevel, bevel this. Uh, change the subdivision to two, indo. Then remove it from the subdivision uh, surface and let's bevel it a little bit. Perfect. Let's go back to polygons, then let's select these three uh, polygons that we created from the pivot. Oh, no. I forgot which one is the middle one. 
which one are the middle I think these no no we have three here okay never mind let's start again yes perfect let's scale them down a little bit right just like this yeah nice now let's add the uh, I think uh, I'm gonna add some cards to protect the uh, geometry make it look like uh, more smooth uh, to give it more smoothness let's add a line cut here another one here oh we got something that we don't want let's see about it after let's do this Let's make the cut as close as possible to the edge. Yes. I think it's gonna work now. Yes, perfect. Nice. change the size of this to zero nice. now what we are going to do now let's rise it up a little bit I think now it's perfect with, uh, like that it's perfect. Mm, no, it's not. It's not good. No, let's uh, dissolve this one. Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, rock it up a little bit. Yes, perfect. Let's drag it, we're gonna bevel it later, let's drag it more. Yes. Let's bevel it like this. Now uh, let's choose polygons, then loop selection. Uh, let's scale it down a little. Right. Let's uh, do the same thing to this one. Let's get it down. Sorry. And this one too, let's do the same thing to it. 
but this one um, must be a little big a little bit bigger than the other one and the previous one and let's add some cuts around it to make it look like to make it look big yeah now let's uh, let's add the uh, yes the big uh, lines for the geometry let's show these two lines here this all this one yes No. What's going on with my, my mouse? It's playing with me and and, and at the time. Now let's choose the points. Oh, what's going on here? I see something in the points. Oh, my mouse did that. I'm sure. My mouse did that. Let's start again. Let's solve this one. Let's select these points. Rise it up by 0 0.64. Let's go to the right port and 0 0.65 perfect let's go back to lines select those two lines and bevel them also a little big little bigger than than the those uh, lines in the bottom Let's do the same thing to them. Scale them down a little. And then let's add some cuts to make the geometry look more, much better. To give it some smoothness. I think I'm going to add more cuts to this one. Let's look like it has some uh, bad look in the mesh let's add some more another one here and perfect i think it's perfect now let's go back to the top of the bottle let's uh, try to finish this mm, yes by selecting this, uh, this edge here or uh, sorry let's add a cut here select edges then let's uh, spill it a little subdivision to zero Let's do the same thing to this one and to the lines in the edges. Perfect. 
Perfect. Now let's uh, finish the top. Yes. Perfect. Now let's finish the the bottom, so we don't need any extra details to add this button. Right. Let's uh, scale it down a little while holding control, of course. Right click and weld to close the polygon hull. Perfect. Now let's add a little bit details in the in the this place here. Select the, these polygons. Then uh, what we're gonna do is uh, no. Let's extrude it just like this. I think it's perfect. Yes, nice. Now, what we are going to, to do is add uh, the cover for this bottle. It's uh, Hold Control Alt and create in a cylinder to make uh, to make it create in the center of the object. Let's scale it down and move it to the top. I'm gonna create the cover of this bottle. Let's hide this one. Let's make it editable. Oh no no no! Before that, before that, uh, let's change the segment rotation to twelve and make it editable. Control. A, A to uh, select all and optimize. Let's control this one to uh, extrude it inner. No, it's not this one. Let's extrude it. No, 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 no. it's not the remove it. Let's extrude it, of course. Or move it just like this, but not remove. Mm. 
Now let's add some details in the top of this cover. Let's add a subdivision surface for that. Now let's add some details. Let's add some line cuts, low path cut, one here and another one here. Perfect. Let's bevel the edges. This one. I think it's it's nice. Let's add another cut here in the bottom. Stop selection, polygons, then select this ring, extrude it a little bit, then just add some cuts here. No, 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 it's, it's look so so big. Let's extrude it a little bit, just a little bit, like this. Yes. Perfect. Let's add uh, some, select this one and uh, maybe With it in or just like this, perfect. And another cut here. Nice. Select the middle one and let's scale it up a little. Perfect. Let's scale this down a little bit. Just like this. Yes. Now let's go back to to uh, add some details outside the, the cover. Let's create a cube holding alt. Let's first of all, let's uh, create this uh, spline from edge. By clicking mesh, then by, by clicking mesh, then uh, commands then edge to spline now let's add a cube let's scale it down a little Perfect. Mm. 
Yes. Now let's uh, add some fillet to it. Maybe 0 0.003. Or just uh, to avoid this, uh, go to edit and project settings, then choose the view clip to small or tiny. Let's control this until we get what we want. until we get what we want pull drive for my bad english let's add a cloner to the cube change the mode to object select uh, the spline that we created before Yes. This. Let's change, change the type to V-spline and the rate of points to natural. No, we don't need to rotate it, it's perfect. It changed the count to maybe 150 or more than that. Mm, the colors of this is, is Change the color of the cloner. To look like the color of the object. Scale them down a little. I think it's nice. Let's group this by uh, Alt G and let's name it Bottle Cover. Scale them, disable the the Y axis. Don't wanna scale the Y axis too. Let's add some more details under the cover. Let's select the bottle, click and hold control, uh, alt, sorry. Then add a cylinder in the middle on the center of the object. Great. Okay. 
Let's just change the rotation segments to 12. I'm picking up in between my hands a uh, bottle, a real one, so we can, so I can have more, uh, a better idea about what I'm doing now. If you did the same, then we're gonna have a better idea. Let's lift it like this. Let's go back to our object here. Select our object and extrude it. Check create gaps and then let's extrude it a little bit. Just like this. Let's make it uh, under the same range with the, the color. Alright, let's add a subdivision surface to it. And now, maybe we're gonna need some cuts before need to add some cuts before that or it just maybe uh, people this these edges these edges let's add subdivision and then let's build them a little bit Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Now let's add some more details. Shows polygons then ring selection or lobe selection. Then let's uh, select this one here. And then let's select one and then select another. Just like this. Select one and then select another. One must be selected and the other one must be unselected. Until we got this. Let's extrude that inner a little bit. Now let's uh, uncheck the create caps and extrude then. Yes, let's uh, yes, nice. Perfect. Nice. Now let's uh, select these polygons here and uh, split them for the label of the bottle. Let's group them and uh, put them under the subdivision surface. Let's make this and rename this label. Alright, let's uh, scale it up a little. Nice. Nice. 
Now let's add the label here to another fixture. Let's add some reflectance to it, just a little bit, not uh, GGX and uh, mm, no need for a frizzing layer. Choose it, uh, decrease it to one or two. Yes. Let's drag it to label, then select texture, go to coordinations of the texture, uh, change this to 3, 3, change the projection from UV mapping to cylinder, cylinder recall, then let's control it a little bit change the coordinations or the coordinates to maybe 3.3 or 3.3 3.2 or 3.3 I think it's perfect yes let's create a uh, water uh, texture in the transparency chose water go to reflect inside the GGX then uh, then go to layer fresno add a the electric from the per C chose water check the transparency I think we are done here. Let's add another another uh, water material in case if you want to use two materials. Reflectance uh, layer Fresnel add a dielectric and uh, proceed add water. Let's go to transparency and check uh, color. Go to refraction and to increase it to 3.5 all right we have two materials here in this model i used the uh, material with the 3.5 uh, in the transparency so you have two two materials here you can choose between them which one is perfect which one is better for you I think the the first one, this one, it's look uh, like a glass, but this one looks like water. Let's add a uh, material for the cover. Let's uh, choose the blue, like the label. Blue. Go to reflectance, add a GGX, then let's decrease it to 2%. Two, two Perfect. Now I think we'll finish, we finished the modeling and the texture. Yes, I think we finished the modeling and texture. Now let's go for rendering. I have already made a studio for the render. I'm gonna upload it to, to download. It will be available to download link in the description. Let's uh, go back to the project by holding V and chose project let's uh, group this one copy it control C hold V and then go back to studio C4D paste it control V 
Yes. Let's place it well. In the, in the studio. Perfect. If you want to add these details to the this water drops, droplets, this water condensation effect to the to the object, you need to watch this video. Cinema 4D tutorial water condensation effect. You're gonna know how to add this effect inside Cinema 4D. And of course, no need for a third party software. Everything is done inside Cinema 4D. Well, let's go back to our project. Go to render settings. No. Not render preview image. Change the enable the cost text because this uh, project supports cost text studio. Ambient occlusion and global illumination. We are going to use the renderer, physical renderer. Change the output per C to if you want. Uh, everything is uh, already done in this uh, studio. If you want to ch change anything, you have the right to change anything. Let's render it. There we go. I render it inside the preview. So as you as you see, we have caustics. We have uh, it's look like glass material, but more water, more more like water. I think it's perfect. Uh, if you want to choose this uh, the other material that we created in the project in the main project you can choose it and render the the project with it it's gonna be perfect too I think as you can see I'm using uh, cinema 4d or R18 and uh, yes try to uh, to add the uh, other other material to the to this project now uh, material that we created from the uh, transparency water uh, now let's um, I'm gonna say this is the end of this tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe in the channel and like the video, share it with your friends, and see you in another tutorial. If you wanna uh, any tutorial, just uh, put a comment and ask for that. See you soon. Thanks for watching.